more quickly. Uh, follow that, I'm thinking. Uh, my name's uh, Roger Hawksworth, and I'm the chairman of trustees here at the Lightbox. And on behalf of the trustees and the team here, I just wanted to welcome you all to this evening. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, turnout. We're very pleased you've all been able to make it. And we've got a tremendous uh, pair of exhibitions, and uh, in a way, complementary. We, we have the pop art exhibition, and of course, we have the uh, photographs of uh, Paul Weller. And uh, we're extremely proud to, uh, to be putting on both of those. And uh, I just wanted to make a special mention. Of, we also have here Sir Peter Blake, who in a short while is going to formally open the, uh, the uh, exhibitions. We have the Mayor of Woking, Ken Howard, who's with us He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Okay. Well, welcome, Matt. Because I've been bad. <laughs> welcome, Matt. And of course, we have uh, Paul Weller. Paul Weller. And uh, we're very. I hope he doesn't mind being called a son of Woking, but uh, he's one of those people that Woking is. He's very, he's very proud of him. And I suppose we owe a vote of thanks for his, to his mother for deciding to be in Woking when, uh, when he was produced. Uh, anyway, Paul, thanks a lot for, uh, for, for coming. Uh, I'm now just going to introduce uh, Catherine Higgins, who is a writer, and you've probably seen her on the Antiques Roadshow. And Catherine has been uh, guest curator for the uh, Pop Art exhibition, working with the team here. So, Catherine, would you like to say a few words? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that introduction. I stand before you as an example of pop art. Pop art <laughs> means fashion. Um, in a 1968 paper dress, where the instruction said, wear once and don't wear again. Now, um, it's already been worn once. And um, apparently the last, the last uh, lady I spoke to about paper dresses said to me, um, as the party wore on, the dress wore off. <laughs> so, uh, there may be some running repairs with that lovely stuff called sellotape later. Um, it's been a real pleasure to be involved in this exhibition. I think when you go upstairs, you'll understand why it's a tremendous first. Um, it's the first show that's really totally devoted to British pop art. There's never been an exhibition like it before. And it's the first show that we've really brought together the cultural context of where artists like Peter real creatives were getting their inspiration. So it's taken me on a journey really through American comics, bodybuilding magazines, <laughs> scrapbooks, the things that children used to do in the 1930s and we've slightly forgotten now but it plays a big part in British pop art, blow-ups, lipstick and glamour, Hollywood icons and all of those things have played a part in influencing what we see upstairs today. We've had tremendous support from very special people who have loaned tremendously rare and, and wonderfully um, creative things to us. And a lot of people have let me into their lives, which is uh, quite a scary um, thing to do, really, because they've, they've told me all their secrets, and including Penny Brook, who lent me her childhood diaries, talking about uh, the moment she went on the pill and what, what her mother thought of that there upstairs. Um, Jan de Vilna literally lent me the clothes um, from her wardrobe and she was a, a passionate wearer of everything to do with Mr. Freedom so we've got some really, really rare pieces there. Paul Gorman who took me um, behind the scenes of Mr. Freedom and also introduced me to Lloyd Johnson who was the creative um, behind some of the, the most stylish gentlemen's jackets in the early 70s. Um, and Stephen Griffin who is the man who owns uh, over 2,000 paper dresses this is not one of his, so I don't have to be too careful this evening, but he loaned us the exceptionally rare super dress, which you will see upstairs, um, with a price tag that I won't even begin to tell you. Um, and also Ruth Lowe, who is a passionate uh, Mary Quant collector. You'll probably see her amongst you. She's dressed head to toe in Mary Quant this evening, and uh, I met her on the Antiques Roadshow, and she very kindly has come all the way from Birmingham to see her pieces on display here. It's been um, an exceptionally interesting journey, really a joy to work with the light box one of the best regional museums that i've ever um, touched base with and such enthusiastic volunteers and staff here um, a final thanks go to um, richard um, from sarchi's who 
We really couldn't have done without their support this evening. Um, those vibrant pop art banners, which um, I think probably get Peter's approval um, outside. Yes, he's shaking his head. They were designed by the Saatchi creative team, and um, we thank them for those and all the support they've given us. So um, it remains for me to say I hope that I stay in one piece this evening. <laughs> and um, can I introduce you to Peter Blake? Thank you. Oh, this, is, this is a great pleasure because I didn't know anything about the gallery and I didn't really know what I was coming to see. You know, the, um, Chrissy said this morning you were going to the light box tonight and I said fine and I've, I've been at work at Coriander Studios in, in Perryvale and the car bring, I went to sleep as we left Perryvale and I woke up on the edges of Woking and so, so suddenly I was in here sitting here, not quite know wh where I was. You know. But it's a particular pleasure because I didn't know that Paul's exhibition was on. So, so tonight you've got the Mod Father <laughs> and, and you've got the Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather of Pop Art and the Mod Father. So that's, a, you know, that's nice, nice to both be in the same, in the same room. And, and normally if I'm opening an exhibition I can say a few words about what I'm opening but I haven't seen it yet. So, <laughs> So, so I think we're, we're, all, we're all allowed to go in from now, so, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it and um, the, the bits I've been told about it. Yeah, it um, sounds wonderful. Can't wait. <laughs> so, uh, here, here I've declared the exhibition open. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, before you all disperse to, to see the exhibitions, um, I'm Marilyn Scott, I'm director of the Lightbox, and two exhibitions like this really don't happen without a huge amount of help, uh, collaboration, partnership, and we've really had some absolutely fantastic help uh, to produce these, these two shows. So um, I, I don't want to go through a, a kind of boring list of people, but there really have to be some, some big thank yous. One thank you has to be to Lawrence Watson. We're really sad that Lawrence can't be with us this evening. It was a choice between Woking and Los Angeles and really don't understand why he chose Los Angeles. However, he has been an absolute delight to work with and is uh, just an amazingly talented photographer. And obviously we are really grateful to Paul for allowing us to, to plaster his face all over one of our, our galleries. And uh, I think you will agree, it's, it's really one of the most exciting photographic shows we've had. And also to Laura Rees, who's been, again, really fantastic person to work with. Everything we wanted to do, she said yes, which is, is just great. And from our side to, to Peter Hall, one of our curators who's worked really hard on the show. The uh, Pop Art Exhibition, uh, I couldn't possibly name every single lender because we've had more lenders to this show than any that we've done in our, in our four years. Um, but particularly to, to thank people who really gave us lots and lots of very special help and advice. Um, to Tate, who allowed us to show one of the amazing Richard Hamiltons from the Artist's Room collection. Um, to Alan Jones, Marco Livingston, Adrian Mybus, Richard Sartoon, Christine Horde, Ellie Summers, and particularly, and I'm sure Catherine will join me, to thank Stella from the Land of Lost Content, who literally emptied her museum of 50s and 60s material. The Lightbox team, those of you who are regular supporters, just know um, my thanks are always to the Lightbox team. They're an amazing group of people. Um, but to Michael, Olivia, Peter in the exhibition team, they have just worked themselves into the ground on these shows. Uh, to Becky and uh, Emma, our PR team, and to Wigwam, our PR agency, who managed to get us on BBC News on Tuesday. Um, which we were absolutely delighted about. Um, to, to all our young helpers, fantastic team of, of interns and young people who've just thrown themselves into um, the exhibition and uh, have worked more hours than we should ever have asked them. So it has been, uh, for us really, I think one of the most exciting shows we've produced in the last four years. And um, we've, we've had some good ones, but I think these two shows happening simultaneously um, have really brought something very new and uh, very interesting to Woking. 
So please enjoy the exhibition as ever. Please tell your friends, tell everybody. We really, really want to uh, get this exhibition on the map. So thank you again and please enjoy the shows.